What's up, girl bosses? Many of you probably have not heard this band, and because of that, your lives are about to be improved tenfold. This is Analepsy and their new song. I'm very, very excited for this. They have an upcoming album, Quiescence, which is hype. It's only their second album, but yeah, Analepsy is like if Slam were made by good musicians. I love these guys. These guys are great. Anyways, this is Locus of Dawning, and I say we get right into it. Psych. Before we do, I'd really appreciate it. if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media, all those links are down there. Live stream on Twitch every Friday, 79 p.m. EST. Let's speed through it. Let's get into it. I'm hyped for this. I'm really hyped for this. <laughs> That's fucking loud. Found these guys in like 2017? Probably a little later. Yeah, no, probably later. Maybe 2018. Yeah, you never see <laughs> playing guitars use the treble strings. Oh, that's badass. <laughs> they switch vocalists? It's hard to tell. They all, all slam vocals kind of sound the same. <laughs> Why does this remind me of death a little in the riff, eh? Ooh. Nice dissonance. Pick it up. Yeah, I feel like they changed their vocalist because I haven't heard any highs. If this isn't if, if this is in fact a different vocalist. Holy fuck! Look it back to that. That snuck up. That's fun. But yeah, I, if this is a different vocal, I don't know. I just remember their older stuff having more highs that were like really piercing, and I did like those. Screw slam, motherfucker. Only hammer emojis in the comments. Jump scare. It's so simple, but it's so satisfying. Fucking badass. I am curious. Like, like like I said, I don't know. I like the older Analepsy stuff better than this song. It's still a good song, of course. 
But what I really did like about the old analepsy stuff was that the vocals kind of stood out because just the highs were just so satisfying. I love the highs of like the older analepsy material. And you know, there wasn't really any of that here, but honestly, I'd say that's probably my only con. It seems like they're actually they're actually riffing now. Um, you know, of course the slams go hard as fuck. Um but yeah, it's still very recognizably analepsy in the instrumentals. If you were a fan of this, I strongly recommend you check out the older material if you haven't. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. Just wish um there was a little more variation in the vocals. I feel like you know, just because, uh, just in the stuff I've heard in the past, there was just, there's just, there's a bit more. There's just, like, more, like, highs, lows, versus here, it was very monotonous. I was looking for a little more diversity. I, I, I don't know if they, um, if they, if they switch vocalists, but, um, at, at least it sounds like they did to me, or it's the same guy, and he was like, oh, this is hurting my voice, and, like, decided to stop. Or maybe it's just the song, maybe they're just like, well, just keep it low. Um, I, I, either way, I do, I do like the song quite a bit. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the song um, between like one to ten hammer emojis. And that's like, that's how we're going to scale this. Is it one hammer emoji, two hammer emoji, three hammer emoji, four hammer emoji, five hammer emoji, six hammer emoji, seven hammer emoji, eight hammer emoji, nine hammer emoji, ten hammer. Um, I'm good. I'm done. I, I should stop way before that.